the service that you provide for real estate agents specifically at the moment seems to be edging very much towards video content that includes the the agent or people in it and that is where the trend in videography and, and marketing for agents is heading la cala de mijas estepona a much much more what, what's wrong Mark? What, what? i can't i can't do it man i just i'm so scared of heights and helicopters and wait what are you saying to me mark come on you're the best cameraman ever how am i gonna get up there i mean and we are gonna show you in style Ian, i don't feel well mate yeah i mean i started out doing uh on the video side of things and making sort of cinematic films of uh, properties you know, which, which often didn't include anybody at all. You know, you'd walk through the door, the door would open <laughs> by the agent crouched on his knees behind, you know, and then you'd walk in through the hall and, and, and all very nice transitions, you know, around the corner and stuff like that. It all looked great. But uh, the trend now really is, uh, as you know, is, uh, is the YouTube style content. Um, usually with the, most often is with the CEO of the, uh, of the company, with my clients. But uh, I've got two new clients starting next week and both of them are, and not the CEOs. They've, they've put one of the guys in there, and, uh, you know, one of the staff members in there. And, and when you say you, let's explain this a little further. When you, what do you mean by YouTube style content for the sake of everybody? The idea is really, if you haven't already, is to create a YouTube channel as a company, create some brand awareness, which I, I feel is the, the biggest reason for doing these videos, brand awareness, um, the style of these things. It can differ really. And, and a lot of the time, the clients don't actually know exactly what it is they want. Uh, we have to sit down and work out, you know, are you trying to get visitors to your site? Are you trying to get brand awareness and get people to just to know you, look, you know, trust you? Um, all sorts of different reasons. A lot of it ends up going off on a tangent as well after we've started these videos and uh, wandering down another path. And but a lot of it works and a, and a lot of it is a case of sort of suck it and see, as they say. You know, let's uh, let's just start, and I think a character emerges from from the first few videos. You know, people get comfortable with what they're doing, and uh, you know, most of the time they, they're scared shitless. Oh, sorry, shouldn't say that, but you know, they they they're very scared of the camera. I mean, uh, uh, some aren't, but um, it's it, it's not so, knowing what we're exactly we're doing at the at the beginning. I think so. Two two relatively small agencies here on the Costa del Sol that I've seen you've been working with. One is Pippa Jones from Jones in Marbella, and the other one is Kim Benani from High Homes. And both of them, the style of video is very much them talking to the camera. In some cases, in the case of High Homes, it's visiting developments and bits and pieces, maybe having conversations with, with lawyers, that sort of thing. And then Pippa is going slightly more in terms of the, the lifestyle and so you know things about the area that the Marbella area that it might be the, the farmer's market or, or Holy Week or a gym, that kind of thing. Have you ever wondered where a busy Marbella real estate agent like me goes to relax, unwind, and basically keep the stamina for the job that I do? Come on, I'm gonna show you. So both are involved in sort of you following them around and, and, and doing a video of that, of that session, but both couldn't be more different in terms of style. Does that sound about right? Yes. Yeah, and exactly. then uh, Kian is like, it looks like you, you've stuck a booster cable into him and he's buzzing with electricity and, 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 and uh, Pepe's he, a little, he a little is bit always, more chill. always raring to go. He and yeah, he's, he, he looks like someone that you just sort of started up and, and pew, yeah, he yeah. almost bounces off with energy when it starts. So it's two very different styles, but the same idea, isn't it? It's basically yeah. them talking to their audience um, or their potential audience. So is, is, this a tr is this a trend that you're seeing from your side as, as a videographer? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm getting inquiries from more and more agents now um, saying that we need to jump on the video bandwagon and, you know, it's, it's on its way. Um, I think everyone's citing the fact that that's the way forward. In your origin as being a photographer, as well as a videographer back, back in the day, but really what we're talking about here is the trend towards video for state agents and developers and the different types of videos that they can be doing. And so your services, you offer, what is it, a price? for like a half day or a full day, that sort of thing, which you 
to explain a little bit about your service on how you price it, not necessarily the actual prices, because I'm sure it depends, but. Yeah, okay. So I offer a, a, a price for a four hour shoot um, plus the edits, which, and also includes a consultation beforehand to brainstorm some ideas and come up with some, you know, where we go and what we're doing. And, uh, uh, you know, generally speaking, you can get a decent video shot in four hours. And I think when you go beyond that, some agents find that a bit tough with uh, Kian, wouldn't he just keep going? <laughs> but for most of the sort of videos that we, we that what I'm talking about that I've mentioned, that's normally like a half day shoot. Is that correct? Yeah, half day shoot. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. And probably a one day edit, but yeah. Uh, but that's I, I so the price that package includes the half day shoot in the case of a half day shoot, and then includes the edit and the final part, which they get in 1080 and 4K. 10, 8 and 4K and an upright reel as well. The way it's happening this last, particularly this last few months is everything's going, everything's going vertical, mm. which is making it tricky for estate agents because generally the, what you're seeing is, is, is something that it lends itself, doesn't really lend itself to vertical. If you take mm. an expansive view from a villa and exactly. you just show this little bit here, it's, it's, it's tricky. So I'm, I'm going to be, I'm very curious to see how that or how that pans out we did start with trying to put an upright camera or a phone on top of the camera that i use the the the, big, the video camera um so we're shooting vertical at the same time as landscape but uh, we found that um because i'm using i'm shooting in 4k we can take a vertical from the 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 original shots um the only problem is you know when when the subject's moving like this we end up having to keyframe it keep it center which is quite a lot of work so if anybody wants to know a little bit more about the service they can there'll be your your information will be in the description of this video so they can get a hold of you directly there but uh i, I think it's safe to say that that this is a tr this this having people in the videos which is the, the equivalent of what you call the youtube style thing is on the rise and i think a lot of agents are not entirely sure how they should tackle tackle it they kind of feel they should be doing something with video but they're not entirely sure what now two years ago there wasn't many agents doing videos with people in them it was generally they were doing real estate videos it was about all about the property mm -hmm. and that is your standard package of photos and videos for 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 a property or the developer would do some sort of like mixed render 3d thing for the to promote the development but th this trend with having people in it what it, what it is bringing is a lot of a lot of confusion or a lot of uncertainty in how to go about it because it can be very, very expensive to hire professionally to do all your stuff, but it can be almost technically impossible to do it yourself at any degree of mm. acceptability in terms of standards. And the truth is probably somewhere in the middle, which I think is probably why I think you are, uh, you're one of the few that really is specializing in that mid part, which is not so much the architectural part of it, and not so, and not the DIY sort of rubbish, shaky camera sort of thing, but some a professional service specifically designed for this style of content. And I think there will be more people offering that service, but at, but at the moment there aren't many that really are are pitching it. It seems the impression I get, at least, is those who are offering that services are getting forced to offer that service by their client because they're doing the property video or something like that, and they're having to sort of include a person. But what I've noticed, and this is something from your photography background, you could you could uh, explain to me or, or confirm if I'm right. But what I'm noticing is videographers that come from a photography background tend to suck at audio, at spoken <laughs> audio. As soon as you put audio in the middle of it, they go, they go from being top professionals in their field to rookies. That's what I'm, that's what I'm seeing anyway, or hearing more like. Right. Well, I, I dabbled in a bit of TV production um, as well. So I, I, got a dab hand at the sound and, and that is such an important aspect of video making if your sound sucks you can have the best footage in the world and your your video is completely rubbish yeah uh, it's so important more, more important than the visuals i think but um the other thing i've done recently um is i've teamed up with a uk-based advertising agency specialised in tv advertising uh, recently made a, a tv commercial for a well-known real estate company on the coast here rockerbox Welcome to Marbella. Are you looking to buy or rent in the Costa del Sol? At Rockerbox, we're your one-stop real estate specialist that caters for all of your needs. Whether it's buying, renting, mortgages, 
legal assistance, residency, and even interior design. With access to over 20,000 sales listings and virtual tours available, we're here to make your dreams a reality. Cheers. Thank you, Rockabox. Give us a call on 0800 054 8888. And that was placed in a place in the sun, which is about the best spot you can have on the TV if you're selling properties to expats or people based in England. And, and the pricing on that is amazing. I've, um, the, the company have been around a long time and um, they're able to offer lower airtime uh, prices uh, than the actual TV companies themselves by giving away some of their commission to get the clients. So very affordable. I mean, you can, you can have 20 aired spots of a TV commercial uh, including the production done by us um, on the TV, on UK national TV for less than the cost of, a, of the commission from a, an apartment sale down here, which I think is incredible. I think a lot of people, I think we're talking about 50 or 100 grand for TV advertising and uh, it's really not. What sort of numbers are we talking about? Uh, between 12 and 15 grand, you can have your 12, 20 adverts on the TV produced, you know, and, and finished. And, and, and when you aired. say, and that includes the airtime? Includes the airtime, yeah. We've got different regions. I mean, I've got, uh, if someone wants to contact me, and find, I've got a list of um, the um, amount of imp adult impressions per region. So you could go, I mean, we offer a place in the sun, we offer a place in the sun, which is the best spot on Channel 4, but you've got Channel 4, Channel 5, England, Ireland. Prices in Ir on just, just for Irish TV are a lot, very, very low, actually. So, you know, some, some of the prices, say for the Midlands, for example, um, one aired transmission would be as low as 200, 250 pounds. So if they, if they got in touch with you, you would be able to put them in touch with 100%, the whole thing? 100%. I'm teamed up with this company in the UK. Um, we can uh, do in-depth research. Um, you, you can split test your advertising as well. So say, for instance, you were to, to book 10 spots in the Midlands and 10 spots uh, in, in, in the north or the south. You can we can watch and we can get the stats from that advert and see how many people are watching it, and then we can say, well, hold on, let's move those remaining four to to the Midlands or, or vice versa. Or, and are these are these ads promoting the agency or promoting yeah. the properties of the agency? Whatever you want. I mean, it's a thirty second advert, uh, which is what's proven to work the best. Um, and could that be anything? Could that be, for example, associated services, architect studios, or mortgage brokers? This is general general advertising, uh, and so we we sit down, storyboard it, uh, go spend time with the client, uh, devise devise an advert that we're all happy with. Uh, then then we'll we'll find some locations and some actors if we need, um, and, and away we go. Wow, that's uh, that's quite quite an attractive. I mean, I mean obviously yeah. it's not for within every agent's budget, but uh, there are plenty of larger agencies that are looking to get the additional exposure and get the edge and that's some that's a service that i wasn't even aware was available mm. so i mean i think i'm the only person on the coast offering this at the moment so. what are we calling this what is this called this if somebody wants to get in touch with you i'm interested in that thing that tv what advertising is, i mean tv advertising in the uk yeah uk tv advertising yeah. right okay I mean, this could apply to any expat uh, selling properties to the uk uh, selling anything to the uk basically so just a recap then so if an agent listening to this would would love to tap into getting some TV adverts to appear whilst a place in the sun is being shown. Mm. Correct. Yeah. They could speak to you and they you can speak to me. We're even dealing with the actual place in the sun programs, advertising as well on the UK, UK TV. So, um, and yeah, look, even though you're based here in the Costa del Sol, an agency up in, in Mallorca or in Costa Blanca, yeah. we're interested in this. South of France, anywhere, you know. So just tell me a little bit more about your background. Now, let's go back a little bit. Right, my professional background, I worked in, started in a dark room. I worked for the Daily Mail newspaper in London for six years before as a photographer, um, before that drove me crazy, sitting in traffic. Uh, came to Spain, set up a photo news agency here in Marbella with a, with a colleague. Uh, I owned that for 15 years, which was really successful. But with the advent of um, Twitter, et cetera, you know, the papers were sourcing images directly from Twitter, you know. So in the old days, we'd have been flown to northern Spain to cover an incident that happened yesterday. But they just go on Twitter and they've got someone who's filmed it happening. So we were sort of, we weren't redundant. I mean, my, my ex-business partner still runs it and he does very well, but 
it, at the side of the, what we were doing in the old days, you know, it was, it was very super successful. We were the only English uh, photo agency in Spain. So we had all the magazines and newspapers and TV companies calling us on a daily basis. But uh, and and then Rocket Shop Productions. I'll tell you what what happened to start me off was when I sold my house. Uh, it was with several agencies, and um, I did a, an amazing set of pictures. Being it was my house, and I supplied all the agents with my photographs. And uh, one of the agencies, Swedish agent, came round and uh, actually sent a videographer around with a gimbal. And a drone, they made a, I don't know, it was about a one and a half minute video of my property and they sold it. And I thought to myself, wow, hold on, this is, uh, there's something in this. Uh, the video wasn't fantastic, but it was the only video out there of the property. They sold it to a Danish family who bought the property without even coming to Spain. So that's what video does for you. So it, it, that in itself just said to me, we need to be moving away from photographs now and getting into this video thing. It, it was reasonably new at the time. Okay, Mark. Uh, well, thank you so much for your time and explaining what you do and who you do it for. If anybody wants a price or discuss anything from, from the video first strategy that you're pumping very well and, uh, you know, YouTube channels and TV commercials, just get in touch and, and we can discuss. I'll let you know everything. Fantastic. Well, his, his contact details are above or below, depending on where you see this. And uh, thanks a lot for your time. Let's keep in touch. Thanks, Alfredo. See you soon. Got Mark Bertrand. He's the owner of Rocket Shot Promotions. No, Productions.